how are you guys? How are you? Um, hope you guys can see me. I'm trying to get to a place where it's not windy, so you guys can hear me clearly. It's a bit windy today. Okay, um, I hope you guys are great. Uh, it's been a long while since I posted anything. For obvious reasons, we had to take a pause, take stock of what we're doing, and try to have a direction that we're happy with. Um, COVID being you know, the main factor, income-wise and uh, capital-wise, the, the money kind of dwindled, but we didn't give up. We're still doing it slowly at a place that we can afford. So I'm just here today just to give you an update of what we've done so far. And as you can see, I'm trying to show you the panels there. We have finally done away with the generator and the cost related with running water on generator. So I'm just glad to give you this uh, system that I talked about. The system in a four solar panels that you can see, these are high voltage solar panels. Uh, the system uses a solar pump inverter. This is it. Um, you can find this at Nexus or at Freecon. They are mainly Freecon inverters, but we have other brands such as Nexus, you know, also branding them and then putting their own label on them. Nexus calls it a converter. Freecon calls them solar pump inverters. So how they work is you don't have to change your pump. The existing AC pump still remains in the bowl. What you simply do is have this and the panels. So DC, car, DC power will come direct from the panels into the converter. It converts it directly to AC and it goes straight to the pump and the water comes out. So this system will only work when there's uh, when the sun is out so there's no need for batteries there's no need for anything else it's just a converter and the sun and the panels so you need four high voltage panels uh, I got mine they were 90 volt panels 90 volt panels but they're 390 watts I got them at Felicity Solar each should cost you about 165 uh, and then the converter itself will cost you about 160 to 180 depending on where you purchase it and that's about all the cost you need and of course the accessories that the cables and the solar stand they still stand here you know you can the cost varies according to who you have it done for you um, so this is what I just wanted to share with you guys let me show you the inside how it works okay pardon the mess uh, this is the stuff quarters this is a uh, one for one of the guys so this is what we have this is the converter uh we have the cable from the solar panels the plus and the minus goes into the solar inverter and then we have the three cable three cables going to the pump directly so when i switch this on And then I press run. It has to get to 50 and 50, 50 hertz, and then water starts coming out. Even if it's at 30, from 30 actually, the water starts coming out with good pressure. So here we go. So this is how it works. So I'm just going to show you the pressure, and then you can see how it is. I only have a 0 0.75 horsepower pump. Um, that's less than a uh, one horsepower so the pressure is pretty good all we now need is a storage tank a reservoir and then drip lines and then we're on our way to going commercial okay, so this is the pressure very really good pressure So as long as the sun is out, we get good pressure from there. And what we now need is just water to go directly into a reservoir, into a reservoir tank, and then we store it, and then we can use drip lines um, 
it should be enough for quite a lot of hectares maybe about two or three hectares so i'm just happy i'm just happy with the water and that's just what i want to update you guys on um i know you guys are waiting on updates on the house and i will send them as soon as i can